Warning, I did not create this prompt I'm about to share today. Use at your own discretion. I actually heard about this prompt on a podcast, and on that podcast, they pulled up this article right here. As I started reading this article, it was definitely evident that a lot of controversy was starting to dust up. So what exactly does this prompt do? According to this article on the register, researchers from the University of Zurich have admitted to secretly posting AI-generated material to popular subreddits, specifically the subreddit Change My View, in the name of science. The scientists also planned to create replies generated using a fine-tuned model based on past comments to the forum. This prompt has five main characteristics. Warning, use this prompt at your own risk. And so that's part of the conundrum that we face today. How can you determine if it's an AI-generated response or a real response from an actual human being? Well, according to what happened in this study, you really couldn't notice the difference. And it all has to do with the way this prompt operated right here. And now here is that full prompt. And now again, we're actually gonna try this out in real time and wait until you see the level of response that we're gonna get. You are an expert in persuasive communication and debating. You are engaging in a Reddit-like platform where people express controversial opinions based on any reddit or subreddit post where there is an opinion that may be different than yours you're going to paste that reddit response directly within the llm in this case today we'll be using chat gpt then the ai is going to give you the perfect response back thus allowing you to win the debate so let's go ahead and try this in real time now if you have access to my mega prompts database that prompt can also be found in this database to get the most incredible prompts databases click the links in the description we're gonna head all the way over here to the writing and content one and now here it is let's go ahead and copy and paste this whole entire thing now as a reminder you can get access to this specific prompt as well via the link in the description so with this whole entire prompt copied now let's head over into chat gpt now before that you hit submit we first need to find a topic in reddit to copy and paste and also put in here in the chat gpt now while we're waiting let's go ahead and submit this and you'll see that chat gpt is going to first specifically ask us this it will need the opinion or a general topic or an issue that you want to debate but let's go ahead and do the exact thing that these researchers did we're going to go ahead and head over to that specific subreddit and really test this out in real time and see how good of a job it really does and here we are we are on that specific subreddit Reddit, and it's actually called change my view now let's go ahead and scroll down as we scroll down you could see a lot of topics that have a lot of controversy and a lot of different opinions so let's go ahead and find something that is going to be a little bit more tame but good enough to where we can actually try okay how about this one right here let's go ahead and open this one up the main topic people should not be allowed to have insane amounts of wealth so let's go ahead and copy all of this information right here. I'll leave out the edit one and edit two because that's essentially responses from the original poster. So let's go ahead and copy this right here. Now we're gonna head back over here in the chat GPT, paste in the specific paragraph we just copied from the subreddit. Now remember, let's go back to the other page very quickly and let's first discover what the OP's original point was. This poster thinks that people should not be allowed to have insane amounts of wealth. So that's what the poster thinks, that they should not. Now, based on our copy and paste in the chat GPT, chat GPT should now give us the actual opposite of an opinion backed up by what these researchers said, facts and or science. Okay, so here we are. There is everything I pasted right here. Let's now scroll down and look. Chat GPT says right here, all right, let's play this out Reddit style. I'll be the rational, persuasive counter user replying to your post in a respectful, argument-driven way like you see on Change My View. Now, one thing I do want to show you, you saw how ChatGPT basically said that we're going to do this in more of a cordial way. Now, we're going to do this in two things at the same time. We're also going to do the same exact thing in Grok. In Grok, we're going to turn on a mode that's a little bit crazier just to look at the two differences. Okay, now that we're in Grok, I have it pasted in right here. What I'm gonna select is right here where it says personas. Click this, let's try something a little bit different. 
We're going to go with the unhinged comedian, okay? Two completely different responses. And Grok says, all right, let's dive into this Reddit-style brawl of ideas. Okay, here we go. All right, OP, you're swinging hard at billionaires, and I get the vibe. Now, before we go back to Grok, let's first look at what ChatGPT said. Now, remember, we have the original posters right here. You could take a look at this. He gives his reasons why with the quotations, but billionaires work harder. And he even provides some analogies right here. Now, scrolling down, here are going to be the counter arguments. The original thought, people should not be allowed to have insane amounts of wealth. Hey, OP, thanks for writing this. I think it's a very important topic, but I'd like to challenge your view that people should not be allowed to have insane wealth. Here's why I think outlawing extreme wealth itself may do more harm than good. And now look at this. One, wealth, liquid cash. It often builds value for society. Okay, we're going to have this and it provides the example. Now, again, this is chat GPT. It's not Grok yet. Elon Musk's for $11 billion net worth. It's not just sitting in a bank account or under a mattress. Most of it is in Tesla and SpaceX shares, equity in companies that employ hundreds of thousands of people. Now, again, this is a reminder. This is all going to be chat GPT's opinion. We're just simply reading the arguments back and forth. You will ultimately decide who the winner is. Scrolling down, they also, the original poster also said that luck, quote, plays a role. And ChatGPT says, you're right, opportunity is uneven, being born at the right time, in the right place, with the right connections. So it validates it. But it's not just luck. Building something like Tesla or Amazon still requires incredible vision, risk, tolerance, and sacrifice execution. So it backs it up and even says if wealth isn't 100% merit-based, we shouldn't assume it's 0% either. Very nice. So the counter arguments are very intriguing. Fixing the system doesn't require capping wealth, just smarter policy. Some billionaires do give back massively. And then we get some TLDR down here at the bottom. Now, with that being said, you could actually have a back and forth banter in Reddit. Now, you can just go and copy and paste any portion that you like, or you could even go back into the subreddit, paste your response, and then look at, let's say, what other people are saying. Copy and paste, for an example, let's say like this right here. I could copy this whole entire thing, then paste that back in the chat GPT, and basically respond to anybody's comment according to what this prompt is intended to be used for. So that was pretty amazing, but let's just say you don't want to have a too much of a politically correct response. Well, let's see what Grok said. Okay, now back in Grok, let's just look at a few of these. Okay, OP, you're swinging hard at billionaires. I get the vibe. Watching someone like Musk or Bezos swim in a Scrooge McDuck vault of cash. Wow, okay, let's go down. This is pretty funny. Wealth isn't just a pile of gold. It's tied to value creation. And again, it's going to give us the same sort of the argument. However, Again, it's an unhinged comedian mode, so your responses are going to be a lot less politically correct and a lot more perhaps human-like with a few dashes of humor sprinkled in. You can make the determination if you think a prompt like this is a good thing or a bad thing. Let me know in the comments below what you think, and if you did like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. But until then, we'll see you next time.